Welcome to NAN TV. We're going to talk about the three common mistakes that people make that really stress people out. These are probably the three biggest mistakes that you want to avoid to stress less and that I see with my clients. So the first one that I see is overcommitting ourselves. I hear it now, but we want to do everything. We do, and I understand that, and I know we have kids, and we have work, and we have relationships, and all these things. But when we start overcommitting ourselves, and we start stressing ourselves out and overwhelming ourselves to the point where we can't function, it's really not helping anybody. Certainly not yourself. And I keep seeing my clients doing this to the point where it's not helping anyone to do that. They're getting so shut down by it that even what they're committing to, they're not showing up authentically for themselves or their clients or for anyone else. So look at those things in your life. I'm going to challenge you to do that this week. Let's look at those things in our lives that we really don't need to have in there. Because what I see with some of my clients is that when we really look at that, what I normally see is there's probably one or two things that were more in avoidance doing them out of avoidance rather than really needing to do them. And that's, that's a biggie. We don't want to be doing things just to avoid something else. So make sure you're just not filling up your schedule with whatever's coming along. You need to manage and create a schedule that you want based on what you want for your dreams. The second one is this negative self-talk. And this is huge. Uh, the last couple of events I've worked, uh, I'm sorry, I've spoken at with entrepreneurs, this, is, this has been the number one problem. Because this negative self-talk where it's constantly, you're not good enough, we don't have enough expertise, you screwed up, all of that all day is so energy depleting. It's totally degrading on, on yourself. And it's like an energy vampire. So, Start to look at those areas that you're doing that in. More than likely, again, those are coming from the triggers and things as a child. Who is in the back of your head? Whose voice are you hearing? Moms, your dad? Not good. We can fix those things. The third thing is living, not living, I should say, in the, in the present. People are constantly in the past and or in the future. And, and what I mean about the past is bringing up the past in your history on reasons why you are not moving forward. Well, I was beaten as a child, or maybe or I had a bad upbringing, or I was an orphan, or I was abandoned, or we got divorced, or whatever those things are. I get it. I've been there. I was thrown against walls as a child. I, I see that. But we can't use those as things, as reasons for us not to be moving forward and having the things we want in our life. It, it, it doesn't work. We become the victim. We're responsible for our own life. And then the other thing is worrying about the future all the time. It's the same thing. What if I can't take a risk? I can't do this. What if this happens? Not, and it's, we're not living from our heart. We're living from our head. That's really what we're talking about with all these things. Are you living from your heart or are you living from your head? Living from your heart is how we live authentically. And if all those things are holding you back from getting what you want in your relationships, in your business, in your life, one of the things I recommend is going to nanmartincoaching.com and getting, uh, finding out for a discovery talk with me so I can help you identify even one of those areas that you can let go of today. It's been nice spending time with you today. This is your self-discovery coach and your intuitive, intuitive authority expert.
please make sure to go to nanmartincoaching.com and sign up for the discovery talk today because I really am looking forward to helping you and seeing how we can change some of this overwhelm and some of this overcommitment and stuckness in your life today. Have a blessed day. Have a light-filled day until I see you next time on Nan TV.